And welcome back to another episode of Till Death Do Us Part, playing Planescape Torment with our character Nameless One here and Mort. Uh, we're on the next level of the mortuary here. We just ran into our first, well, I guess not our first, but uh, one of the dustmen. So let's see if we can talk to him. Dustman regards with a stony gaze. Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I had some questions. If you are not lost, what is your business here? Uh, I'm here to see someone. Who are you here to see? Um, it's none of your concern. I'm afraid it is my concern. Mayhap the guards can loosen your tongue. Dustman takes a step back. He looks like he's about to summon the guards. Um, I think my guy would panic. Snap his neck before and call out. Before Dustman can utter a word, your hands clamp onto his temples and you twist his head sharply to the left. Can't have you alerting your friends. There's a crack and Dustman falls limps in your arms. Better you than me, Dusty. To your surprise, the act seemed instinctual, as if you had done it many times before. With this thought comes the stirring of a memory, but it is not strong enough to surface. Leave the body, continue on. I'm gone. What does Dustman have on him? Uh, robes, dagger, jagged knife. I will take all of these things. Let's look at my inventory here. Okay, so I have a scalpel, one to three piercing. I have iron fist, two to four crushing. Rusty dagger, one to three piercing. And a jagged knife, one to three slashing. So let's switch this out with the scalpel. Switch this out here. So we've got piercing, crushing, and slashing now. Okay. So we'll close that off here. Let's do some export. Oh, wrong one. Do some exploration here. All right. It's another dust man. Let's do some looting here before he comes to get us junk why would I want junk I'll take it I'll take the junk I'm gone okay he didn't want to talk to us that bad it looks like he stopped chasing us Done. let's see if we can go into this room All right. Ooh, some shelves nothing what is this? Iron pry bar. Dustman request. Locked. Uh, can I use an item? Let's take a look. What did I pick up here? Receiving log page. Receiving log book. Bandages. Dustman robes. Can I wear these? Ah, I can disguise myself as a dustman. I will do that. Junk. Okay. Dustman requests. Contact the necromancer responsible for raising contractual work of 42. I know he's examined the skeleton before, but I'm certain the initial raising of the body was warp. The worker still responds to commands, but when it has completed a task, it resumes pacing the same circular pattern as it did before. Dahl recently informed me that Worker 42 exhibited the same walking pattern when it was a zombie decades ago. There may be a soul echo in the morrow of the skeleton's age may have caused the magic animating him to decay. One of the initiates suggested it may be following an order issued by a higher ranking dustman in the past, but I have found no records of such an order. Whatever the reason for its behavior, the matter is to be resolved or the worker replaced. Dustman 42. Or the skeleton 42. That's interesting. Let's see, skeleton worker. Maybe this is that skeleton. Um, no, one, two, two, one, and its forehead. Pardon me, have you seen any skeletons walking around here? No reply. Great talking to you, Bones. Stay healthy. Wonder if Greybeard would mind if I borrowed his body. Greybeard? You know, geezer, old fellow. Yellow dog, old. I don't think there's any position to object. Why not take his body? So the skeleton for a moment shakes says, Nah, I'd need a fresher one than this, and something with a little more dignity. This one's all creaky and fractured. And you're not? Oh, you're a sackful of laughs. Besides, you're one to talk, Burke. Mirrors beg mercy when you're around. 
Oh yeah, at least I have all my parts. Mort snorts. You're not quite sure how I manage it without lungs. Let me tell you, Mort, there's nothing more satisfying than walking around, swinging your arms, breathing the crisp air through your lungs. It's great to have a body. I'll have you know that helping you escape the preparation room has now been added to my growing list of regrets. I should have let you rot some more, that is. Glad you feel that way. Let's go. Okay, so this is the other side of the room. Let's see, there's some more dustmen that seem to be ignoring me for now. There's a door. Ooh, Mortuary Sanctum Key. That is good. Done. All right. Let's see if I can find anything else. More usable items. Ooh, here's another shelf. More junk. All right. Done. Another shelf. Needle and thread. Okay, let's go in this room here. Bandages. Done. Container is locked. I use the jagged knife. Apparently not. Put back on my dustman's robe. That took off my robes, apparently. Okay, quiver, quick item. I don't know what the quick item is. What does a bombing fluid do? Two to eight hit points, plus one armor class. I'll put that up there on quick items. The bandages, heals, three hit points. Let's put that up on quick items. Uh, what does the thread of needle do? Heal six points. I'll put that up on quick items. Iron pry bar, one to six crushing. Force a locked door or chest, select it as a weapon, then attack the container door. Um, Oh, interesting. So I can actually attack containers with that, so I'm going to do that. Uh, weapon, pry bar. Forced it. Open. Nice! All right. Bone charm, slow charm. So I'm going to have to go back and open all those other things with uh, the pry bar now. So embalming charm and a task list. Okay, let's see what's this task list. Uh, I would like someone contract workers to do um, experience too many contract collapses. Uh, workers could be inspected every hours raised. Do not wish class to be disposed of. I've included spare embalming ones. Okay. Nice. So, I learned something new. Alright, so let's look at our, our map here. Where is it? Map screen. Stairs down the second level. Crematorium. Northern storage room. Southern storage room. There's a door over here. Should we go to the crematorium? Check that out. I guess I can't actually go Done. in there. Done. All right. Where's my... Oh, my dustman robes apparently go away whenever I attack. I need to... Remember to put those arms. What's this? Embalming charm. Three charges. Um... My enchantment held within the space of the corpse, strengthening their bones. Interesting. I'll put that on. What's this clot charm? Put that up here. We'll put the swarm cor corpse. Interesting. I'll put that up there as well. 
bone charm. I will hold on to that. I'll put it aside for now. Okay, so let's go back downstairs now that I have I'm gone. the key. Okay. Forced it. Copper earring, bandages. So let's take a look at that copper earring. Um, clothes, unusable clothes, copper earrings looks ancient. Use. Copper earring looks extremely old, looks like it's meant to be worn, but there doesn't seem to be a hook or any means actually attaching the ear. A series of strange grooves on the side of the earring, however. Examine the grooves. Grooves are evenly spaced along the inside of the ring. Upon closer examination, remind you of small fangs. They're definitely man-made, but you can't figure out what they were intended for. Put the earring away. Hmm. So I don't think I can put them on yet. Looks like I'll have to figure that out later. Um, what about this door? Can I open it now? Ooh, I can go downstairs. Okay. I'm gone. So let's Done. see if we can find the All right. I'm thing gone. he was talking about doll. Oh. Here's a dustman. Heavy bar gate. on the walls. What does this dustman have to say? Uh, slightly musty smell, especially as blank seems absorb his duties. Greetings. Who are you? Um, my name is Adon. I'm new here. Um, snap his neck. Before I can call out, quick, snap his neck. I'm not very good at this, apparently. I can't convince him of much. Dirty rat charm. Let's take the dirty rat charm. I'll leave the other things where they are. Okay, let's move forward. All right. I'm gone. All right, that's not it. I'm gone. Okay. So nothing over here. Let's see about in All right. here. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh, it's a giant skeleton guard. Mm. They don't seem to be attacking me though. At least not yet. Let's see. Um, that's interesting. There's a portal there. I don't know about that. Looks like a small, large tomb. Gives it a rather elegant look. Ooh. There's someone here. You see a strikingly beautiful ghostly form before you. Her arms are crossed and her eyes are closed. She has long flowing hair and her gown seems stirred by some ethereal, ble br ethereal breeze. As you watch, she start stirs slightly and her eyes flicker. Greetings. No, I'll wait. You. What is it that brings you here? Oh. Have you come to see firsthand the misery you have wrought? Perhaps in death I still hold some shred of use for you. But Whoa, she's kind of mean. Who are you? How can it be that the thieves of the mine continue to steal my name from your memory? Do you not remember me, my love? The ghost stretches out her arms. Think, her voice becomes desperate again. And name Dianora must evoke some memory within you. My memories are lost to me. 
Then it is as I feared, I am truly lost to you, and that was once an inconvenience for you, and now have an excuse to discard me as you have my memory. Um, inconvenience? Discard you? I do not know you, spirit. My memories are no more. Tell me, who are you? What do you know of me? You are the one blessed and cursed, my love, and you are the one who is never far from my thoughts and heart. Blessed and cursed? What do you mean? The nature of your curse should be apparent, my love. Look at you. Death rejects you. Your memories have abandoned you. Do not pause and wonder why. I'm still trying to get my bearings, actually. What else can you tell me about myself? I know that you once claimed you loved me, and you would love me until death claimed us both. I believe that, never knowing the truth of who you were, what you were, and what am I. You, I cannot. She suddenly frees and speaks slowly, carefully, as if her voice frightens her. The truth is, the truth is this. You are one who dies many deaths. The deaths have given the knowing of all things mortal, and in your hand lies the spark of life and death. Those that die near you carry a trace of themselves that you can bring forth. As Deonora speaks the words, a crawling sensation wells up in the back of your skull. You suddenly feel compelled to look at your hand. As you lift it up and look at it, you can see the blood coursing sluggishly through your arm, pouring into your muscles, and in turn giving strength to your bones. Wh what? My journal. And you know Deonora is right. You suddenly remember how to coax the dimmest spark of life from a body and bring it forth. Thought both horrifies you and intrigues you. You remembered how to raise others from the dead. To access this ability, select Special Abilities button in the Quick Menu. You can only use this on party members that have died in your presence. It will not work on anyone who does not travel with you, and it will not work on party members you remove from the party while they are dead. I, I had other questions. What is it you wish to know? Who are you? Spirit makes a begging motion with her hands. How can it be that thieves... Uh, okay, that's already... Um, da -da -da, I'll go back to where we were. Um, why is that a curse? I do not doubt your ability to rise from the dead. I do believe that every incarnation weakens your thoughts and memories. You claim to have thought, have lost your memory, perhaps as a side effect of countless deaths. If so, what more will you lose in successive deaths? If you lose your mind, you will not even know enough to realize that you cannot die. You shall truly be doomed. How long has this been going on? I do not know, except that it has gone on long enough. I had some other questions. Um... I need to escape this place. Can you help me? Leave? Leave? You ask me who I'm trapped here because of you? How to leave this place? Um, I must apologize. I did not mean to offend. Please. Uh, yes, I need to escape. You cannot come to me in death only to tell me that you need my aid, that you may ab can abandon me again. Face a mask of fury. I died for you, my love. I suffer for it even now. Please, I need your help. Will you spurn me in my hour of need? Spurn you? You dare to accuse me of spurning you? Um, index in your hand pointing at you. Looks like she's calling for some sort of sorcery. You dare? Silent spirit? Burn. May you burn at the very fires of Bator. We're devouring you from within. Burn and know it is but a fraction of my hatred for you. I curse you. I curse you all my heart and soul that you will never be free from the shackles of, of your wretched unlife. May you shrivel and die, your mind withering as it festers in your rotting body. Watch your curses, woman. I have no patience. Once spoken, the curse cannot be undone. Know this, I have all eternity, my love, and I shall wait for you to come to death's halls. Uh, we shall be together again. Undo what you have done. She closes her eyes and fades away. Dang it. You back with me, chief? You kind of drifted out on me there. No, I'm fine. Do you know who that spirit was? Hey, spirit? The specter I was talking to. The woman. You were rattling your bone box with some woman? Where? Looks around, excited. What did she look like? She was right on the bar, didn't, beer, didn't you see her? Uh, no, just kind of drifted out there for a minute. Just stood there, sat you like a little word you'd gone addled on me again. No, I'm fine, I think. Let's move on. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Well. All right. That Done. taught me some things there. Um, oh, the skeleton things are mean. There's four of them. Okay. There's some weapons on this wall. I kind of want them, but I don't know if we can get them. Well, let's go ahead. Next time, we'll see whether or not we can get these weapons. And uh, see what happens with these skeletons, whether they attack us or not. So until next time, play games, have fun, and we'll see.